Hi everyone, I'm Tealer Osborne 171 and today I am going to be showing you how to sheath Golly's Spear. So Golly's Spear actually takes a little more disassembling than I thought it would, but all in all I got everything to go on her, but not actually everything goes on her back. So let's get right into it. So. Here is how you're going to disassemble everything. Basically the staff and the blade stay as the, they are, but you have to take out the propeller from the blade itself and disassemble this little end piece. With Other than that, it's pretty easy going. First thing you're going to want to do is put the blade and the staff piece together without the black too long axle in there. And then just set that off to the side for now. Now we're going to bring Golly into the picture. Now here's where things get tricky. First you got to remove her shoulder armor. Then you got to move her, remove her chest plate. Now this is all in preparation and I'll explain later. So first you're going to take this piece of shoulder armor, stick the propeller piece through the farthest hole and then you're going to put a, the gear onto there. Just like that. Now you're going to bring Golly back in. And you're going to stick that onto her shoulder. That keeps the propeller hidden away. Now, from here, you're going to take the black axle and stick it in the side of her foot. And thankfully, Golly comes with all black axles. So you don't have to worry about the axle sticking out awkwardly. Now finally, you are going to take the blade on and stick it onto her back. Now you're probably still wondering, why is the chest plate off? Now here's where things get really tricky. I'm going to have to adjust the camera, so just hold on a sec. So from here you're going to want to lay Golly on her back. Yeah, it, it's pretty complicated. So first you're going to want to take this chain piece and stick it in the uh, pinhole just above where the her back armor comes through. Then you're going to want to take this too long bushing or uh, pin bushing and the pin axle and you're just going to set it right there. And finally you're going to place the armor piece on her chest or the chest plate back on her. So right now you're probably thinking, okay, those pieces on under her chest plate are going to fall out. Well, no, they are not. I have tried so hard to get them to fall out. No matter what I have done, they have never fallen out. I have wiggled the chest plate and they have never fallen out. The, the, the piece will only fall out if you remove the chest plate. So as long as you don't remove that, everything will stay in there and locked in place and look really nice. And it's actually pretty neat to have this chain piece just sitting off to the side of her hip. Sheathing Golly's weapon is not the most convenient, but it does work. For all I know, having the blade on the back of her does free up the hands and all that, but having the propeller on her shoulder isn't all that nice and the one axle on the on her ankle is also a little inconvenient but because of her build and how every axle hole and pinhole is taken up by something it was really hard just to do this so other than that that's about it and that's how you sheathe golly's weapons if you find a better way to do this, let me know in the comment section. I would really like to hear it. So, that's everything I gotta say here. I'm Teeler Osborne 171. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye bye.